Hello and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to cover how to download apps using Apple Business Manager and Mosul to your end devices. In this particular case, it's going to be an iPhone. Now, in this video, I'm going to assume that you already have your Apple Business Manager set up and you already have Mosul set up. Now, if you don't have Mosul set up yet, I would suggest reaching out to their technical support team. They did an awesome job of walking me through step by step and getting it integrated with uh, Apple Business Manager. So assuming that we have that all set up, the first thing we're going to do is let me unlock this phone here. And in this particular phone, let's just say I want to add YouTube. So what we're going to do is head over to your Apple Business Manager. We're going to click on apps. And then in the top here, uh, once it pops up, let's just say we want to add YouTube. So let's click on YouTube here. It'll pop up. Now with all devices, with all even the free apps, you still have to purchase licenses. So you choose your location that you want to send this to. You just type in how many licenses you want to purchase. Again, most of these licenses for most of these apps are free. And then you just hit get. Now I already did this, or you can see I already have 20 licenses available. Now, once you do that, you'll get an email. And right over here, if I click on this, it says your licenses for the item listed below are ready for assignment with Apple Business Manager. So now that that's done, we're gonna head over to Mosul. So on Mosul, if we click on, uh, let's head over to management. So under management, if I click on applications, I can click on Apple Apps and Books, VPP. Now here, if I click edit, you'll see that I already have this integrated with Apple Business Manager. So that step's already done. So let's just click on this side of the app. And you'll see that all my apps have already been downloaded and are assigned to my device that I have set up, except for the very last one, YouTube, which we just set up. So what we need to do now is come down here to install app. If I come and click on default apps, these are all my default apps that I want to have downloaded. So let's say I want to add Apple, or excuse me, I want to add YouTube as this. So I'm going to click add application. And again, you'll see right here, normally it, um, you have apps and books right here, VPP. So you can see that YouTube has not been added to my default app. So I'm gonna click on that and then click this blue check mark. So now that's been added right here to my list of installed apps. So now scroll way down to the bottom, click save, and that'll be added to my list. Now the second part is how you wanna allow. Now normally on this screen here, allowed and blocked apps. You can choose which apps you want allowed or which apps you want blocked. So I can create a new profile and I can say I only want to allow these certain apps or you can click you know, certain apps that you don't want allowed. So you can put really uh, finite details here. Now, I'm not gonna use this screen because I'm using the home layout screen. So the next uh, tab here is home layout. This is actually if you want to organize the device for them. So for a lot of our employees, we wanna take the guesswork out for them. And so if I click this, um, you'll see the iPad here. Now I'm gonna click up here, it says iOS 12. If you click that, it'll toggle to iOS 13. And the reason why I like this view is because all the iPhones only have four, uh, four apps that can fit the width of the screen rather than you know, what is that, six apps. So I'm gonna use this view. So let's just say I wanted to add YouTube right there. So this is, it defaults to, no, to native apps right here. So you can see all the native apps, which we don't need those um, in our case. So I'm gonna click on the apps and books VPP. And as you can see, there's my YouTube app. So I'm gonna drag this down here and let's just say I want it right there. So once I do that, I can scroll down here and click save. And now that that's been saved, if I come back over here to Apple Configurator and I unlock the phone, what will end up happening is um, in a pretty short amount of time, my new uh, app uh, will get downloaded here. And so you can see it's kind of messing. There we go. So it happens that quickly. So once you save something inside Mosul, it gets pushed very quickly. Um, over to the actual device. And so this can be deployed to all your different devices. And again, you can, we're using the home layout, which means we are organizing the screen for them. And that's why under uh, allowed apps, I'm using the employee layout from the home layout screen. So in this particular situation, we are organizing the apps in the home layout. So in the home layout here, we organize it for them. And that way that's 
that allows what's pushed. Now, if you don't want to use the home layout screen, you don't have to. You can just delete that. You could use the allowed slash blocked apps. You can, you can specify which apps you want allowed, which ones you want blocked, and then the employees can, uh, or the students can organize it themselves, or you can have a hybrid. So maybe on the, on the home layout, you want maybe specific apps on the bottom of the screen. So maybe you just want just the lower four apps down here. So maybe just these four on the bottom, you want to organize which ones go there and then let the employees do a mix where they can um, organize what's on top. So that's how we're using it. And I hope you found this helpful with uh, like, you know, organizing your layouts or customizing and downloading apps. I'm going to continue to use this. And as I find out more features about Molesville and Apple Business Manager, I'll continue to add to this channel. If you do appreciate the content, I appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified in the future, uh, feel free to subscribe and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out. Thank you and hope you have a great day.